Module 2 contains some of the most important material in the course. Learn this material well as supply and demand are the basis for many future graphs in the course. Understanding supply and demand is essential for doing well in the remainder of the course. Read 2.01 through 2.05 before you complete Assignment 2.01 as it will help you understand the assignments more quickly. Notice how the equilibrium price and quantity are denoted on the graph on this slide. This is how you will mark them for your 2.03 graph as this is now what is expected on the AP exam. Quantity supplied is one point on the line. It is how many items are supplied at a specific price, so it is controlled by the price of an item. Supply, on the other hand, is the entire line. It is how much of a product is supplied at every price, so it is not controlled by the price of the item itself. When supply changes, the entire line shifts right or left. When quantity supply changes, there is a movement along the supply line. Demand works the same way. Complete the 2.04 discussion-based assessment at the end of the module so you can make sure you understand all the content in the module. For assignment 2.05, four hand-drawn graphs are required. Make sure to label all the lines, the axes, and the equilibrium price and quantity. There is a tutorial on how to draw a graph under the course resources area of the announcement board. You must have the change in price and quantity shown on each graph. Graph the first change that occurs only. You only have to explain the shift in the first two graphs. Read 2.06 and 2.07 on elasticity prior to doing Lesson 2.06. Elasticity is all about how sensitive the consumer or producer is to a change in price. Learn the midpoint formula shown on the screen as you will use it to determine elasticity of demand. There are four types of elasticity and you need to know something about all of them. Assignment 2.07 has a graphing portion explained on the activity page but not on the quiz. Email your graph to your instructor after you draw it. Lesson 2.08 on consumer and producer surplus can be confusing. The difference between the blue and red lines is the surplus. Once you figure that out, you should sail through this lesson. The last three assignments are self-checks. Lesson 2.09 helps you understand why demand is downsloping. Learn the reasons. Lesson 2.10 is all about government price controls. Know that ceilings are below equilibrium because you can't charge a price higher than the ceiling, and floors are placed above equilibrium because you can't charge a price lower than the floor. The market forces of supply and demand won't change when you have a ceiling or a floor. Only quantity demanded and quantity supplied will change. Finally, 211 is about taxes. Know the difference between excise taxes, like a sales tax, and a Pigovian tax that are designed to restrict output. You will see these again as they have shown up in the free response section of the AP exam. Don't forget to complete the discussion-based assessment when you finish all the lessons. This is a lengthy module. Work hard and you can make it happen. Call your instructor if you need help.